In this video, we're going to take a look at a feature of Word called text boxes. Uh, I like to think of a text box as basically a sticky note that you can just slap on the page any place you want to. You've got uh, uh, basically that kind of flexibility as far as putting it any place where you want to in the middle of your document. And if you want to do a text box, text box is on the insert tab and it is over here in the text group. And here's the button for text boxes. There are a bunch of built in styles for text boxes and uh, if you like what you see here you can select one of those and looks like we get quite a few here but what I usually do is I just draw my own text box and we'll just go to the middle of the document here and we'll click and drag and that's our little post-it note and it still has the same um, paragraph formatting that uh, the enclosing paragraph had. It's got uh, half an inch first line indent. Um, these are frequently used for pull quotes uh, in you know newspapers and magazines. You often see in the middle of an article there'll be a little box that has a quote uh, that's in bigger letters and inside of a box usually that's designed to uh, draw your attention to it so that you'll be interested in reading the rest of the article. So that's one option, uh, but basically anytime you want to put anything in the middle of your document like this, uh, you can use a text box. So we need a little bit of stuff to put in here. Uh, so let's just, uh, we'll grab this here and we will paste it in. Okay, so that's our pull quote in our text box. Now one obvious problem here is it's covering up the stuff behind it. and when you have a text box selected, the drawing tool should appear up here, and there's a one tab underneath, there's a format tab, and probably the most important thing on here is the wrap text button. This uh, determines how the text that's in the rest of the document wraps around the text box. And uh, in line with text is an option here. Uh, we'll just go through them and take a look at them. Square, tight, uh, now there's not much difference here between square and tight. Although, if I take the text box and get my four-headed arrow here and drag it to the middle, I think we might see a few more differences in some of our options here. So, uh, that's in line with text. Uh, this is square. Uh, this is tight. And there's not much difference there. Um, through, uh, not much difference. Top and bottom will leave you spaces on the left and right sides. Behind the text, I don't think you want that. Uh, in front of the text, I don't think you want that. Uh, usually, um, you're probably going to want uh, probably tight or top and bottom, I think. So we'll go with, with tight here. Um, some other options you have. Um, you can change the direction of the text. Uh, you've got two other choices here. You can rotate it 90 degrees one way, or you can rotate it 90 degrees the other way. Uh, the only other place you can do this in Word is in a table. Uh, we'll go back to the normal text direction. Uh, you do have one other option here though, and that is this little handle up here at the top. This little circular handle does allow you to rotate the text uh, any way that you want to rotate it. Okay, uh, I'm not sure how often you need to rotate text, but uh, if you do, this is basically the only way to rotate text in Word uh, to any angle other than uh, 90 degrees, plus or minus 90 degrees. Uh, notice over here that there is uh, a little anchor and that indicates which paragraph that the text box is anchored to. If I take this and pull it up so it's in the middle of this paragraph here and now it's anchored to this paragraph. Uh, if I pull it up a little bit further then it gets anchored to that paragraph there. So it's actually part of the paragraph. So if I were to select this entire paragraph, for example, um, once I select the whole paragraph, I also get this. So if I were to cut that out and, and or copy it and, and paste it in someplace else, I would get not only the paragraph, but I would get the text box that's anchored to it. Okay, when you have the text box selected, you have the drawing tools up here, and we have a bunch of uh, options here. Uh, we've got a bunch of uh, shape styles here, and there's a bunch of preformats, and they all do a live preview here. So if you see something up here that you like to kind of make your text box stand out, uh, you can pick any one of these options. Um, you've also got choices here for 
uh, filling the shape. If you don't like the presets over there, you can pick your own. Uh, you can change the outline color, but the outline color is really, in, at least in this case, it's very thin. You probably won't even notice. Uh, and there are some effects that you can add. Um, you can give it kind of a you know a 3D look. Uh, you can add shadows to it, and this does a live preview, so your shadows move around. Uh, you can add reflection to it. Um, basically, all of the drawing tools. You can add a glow to it, which we can't see, but um, you can do soft edges. Uh, you can do bevels, uh, and you can even do this 3D rotation business if you want to. So you can you can do just about anything you do with any other kind of graphic element in Word. Um, and one other kind of neat option here for a text box is this Create Link uh, button right here. And that's real handy if you're doing something like a newsletter and you have a document or story rather that starts on one page and you want it to end on another page um, and perhaps it doesn't flow continuously from page one to page two so you start on page one and you finish it on page four maybe um, you can create a link from one text box to another and once the first text box fills up the text will automatically flow into the second text box so that's a real handy feature if you're trying to do something like a newsletter uh, there's a bunch of other options that you can uh, look at in here uh, but those are the basics for doing a text box in Word.